Now more fallout after the removal of the tent encampment along Hastings in Vancouver's downtown east side. Tents are now appearing in other parts of the city as concerns grow for the health impact on the homeless. CTV's Penny Daflos reports. New tents and makeshift shelters are growing up in Vancouver, but this isn't East Hastings Street. From Riley Park to this growing shantytown in Kitsilano's Vanier Park, those without homes are making do where they can, including the streets surrounding Oppenheimer Park, which saw a long-term tent city dismantled three years ago. They're at risk of exposure to the elements. They're at risk of sleep deprivation. And because they're so isolated, they're also at risk from a toxic drug supply. Speaking outside St. Paul's Hospital, where another tent has gone up, BC's Hospital Employees Union is warning our health care system will see even more strain as those evicted from the streets struggle through severe rainfall and after. We're quite concerned that the sort of cruel and dehumanizing displacement last week really does put uh, residents, unhoused people in the downtown east side at risk in terms of their health status. People are scattered around, they have no resources. And that's raising questions about what Vancouver Coastal Health is doing to support those without basic necessities and facing infections, injuries or other medical issues. It's really concerning. This is, this is an actual st place where we need them to step up. Not only are they the health authority, they're the primary funder of every almost every social service and health agency in the neighborhood. VCH is referenced in the city's leaked plans to end the decampment, but the health authority has not responded to a CTV News request. As for municipal leaders, even as Hastings was being cleared on Wednesday, they knew the problem is much bigger. People have nowhere to go. You're already dealing with encampments in other parts of the city. And in fact, most of the people in Vancouver who are unsheltered are not on Hastings Street. Although the medical community keeps reiterating housing is health care. Both are lacking for the city's most desperate. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.